Well, if you do not have any objection, maybe later I will drop by your planet again and rescue you, thus breaking the spooky spell put on you by your nefarious shadowy masters. Swoon! That way, you will stop being so grim, dark, and ominous, and basically completely off the deep end in every way, as is now painfully obvious to anyone with a brain. I will do my best to occupy myself as benignly and unmagically as possible until you show up. Yes! Please, write some happy stories in your journal about lively horses and conspicuously not about wizards or sadness. Happy? What is this strange, unsad emotion of which you speak? Yes, this is good. You see, Rose? These are jokes. These are what they look like. Do not be alarmed. Jokes? Are those the things people say when they want unusual noises to come out of the pliable crescent-shaped holes sometimes found in people's faces? Laughs, Rose, laughs. Also, those crescenty-looking holes where laughs come out of? Those are smiles. Observe. I need to make a note of this. Excuse me while I open this tome bound in the tanned, writhing flesh of a tortured hell scholar. The screaming will subside shortly. Okay, I will wait patiently. Continue to not be alarmed as I record your advice with runes stroked in the black tears bled from the corruption-weary eyes of 50,000 imaginary occultists. And then brace yourself for the fabled Black Death trance of the Wogothics I will slip into, while quaking in the blood-eldritch throes of the Broodfester tongues. No, no, Rose! That sort of nonsense is exactly what is out of the question. Ugh, I see things are more urgent than I realized. I will have to venture there straight away and slap you right out of that silly old trance. <laughs> One is not easily shaken from the broodfester tongues, John. They are stubborn throws. Oh. Well, shit. Ugh, blah, blah, huge witch!